Thank you. Um, our group has uh, been interested in radio frequency ablation over the past uh, two years, uh, biliary and pancreatic, and we've uh, kind of taken a more basic uh, approach to the uh, to the studies and investigations of RF in terms of tissue response. And um, uh, Abubakir is my uh, research coordinator and has been instrumental in uh, doing these uh, power tissue uh, correlation studies. And so today we're, we're going to talk a little bit about the correlations with uh, the EOS RFA power and the uh, tissue response uh, with histology in an animal model. Uh, thank you for introducing me. Uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, I know everyone in this room is working very hard to cure pancreatic cancer or improve the survival. Unfortunately, the survival has not uh, improved uh, over 40 years. So surgical removal of the tumor uh, is uh, available only for less than 20% of the cases, and average life expectancy is uh, six months in advanced cases. Um, now, if you Google uh, U.S. guided ablation, there are over like more than 3,000 uh, articles published. And then so far, we have tried drug injections, uh, virus, virus injection, ethanol therapy, brachytherapy, laser ablation, photodynamic therapy, and the most importantly, radiofrequency ablation is the well most studied uh, ablation technique. Starting from 1999, 13 pigs underwent radiofrequency ablation using 19-gauge needle, and the results, uh, the maximum ablation was uh, 12 millimeter. And similar uh, RF catheter, this is a, a like cr a hybrid uh, cryotherm probe uh, produced by Urbi, and then 14 pigs underwent uh, RF ablation using 16 watts, uh, 2 to 15 minutes, and the maximum ablation was for uh, 1,000 millimeters square. In 2009, uh, five pigs underwent. This is the not pancreas ablation. This is liver ablation, but the catheter is slightly different. This is umbrella-shaped uh, catheter, and the maximum ablation was 27 uh, millimeter. 2010, a study from Korea uh, used 18-gauge uh, needle <coughs> in 10 pigs. Maximum power was 50 watts and application during the 5 minutes resulted in maximum 3 centimeter uh, ablation using StartMed uh, RF generator. Uh, in 2010 again uh, our device Habib EUS RF catheter was uh, used in 5 pigs uh, and the power setting was uh, 4, 5 and 6 with different uh, times and the results there was uh, minimal pancreatitis. Uh, in our study, we wanted to sh uh, describe the effects of the RF catheter in pancreas and the other solid organs, such as liver, spleen, kidney, pancreas, and gallbladder, and we wanted to determine the optimal power uh, settings. We used Habib EUS RF catheter. Here we can see the 19 gauge needle and protruding the, this is the sheet uh, of the catheter and this is the active uh, tip of the catheter uh, approximately two centimeter in length this is a monopolar one French catheter which is compatible with uh, 22 gauge needles uh, this is a approved for FDA uh, for intravascular use but I know Dr. Habib has uh, the most up-to-date uh, information regarding the status of pancreas uh, we used Urbi Bio 300D4 uh, RF generator, and uh, we should, like, as all everyone knows, uh, monopolar uh, uh, devices, <coughs> grounding pad. Uh, we conducted a non survival animal study. Uh, six <coughs> pigs underwent uh, general anesthesia, and then after a midline laparotomy incision, we manually placed the catheter and updated pancreas uh, nodes, uh, stomach, liver, spleen, kidney, and Bladder. And in our study, we tried different power settings, uh, 3, 4, 5, 10, 15, and 20 watts uh, over uh, 90 seconds. Uh, and uh, we harvested the tissue and the sand for uh, histological examination. Here is the, our catheter, and ablation was uh, ovaloid, and we measured the largest cross-sectional diameter, not the length for comparison of the power settings. 
Uh, here's our findings. Uh, mean diameter, this is we did three ablation for each power settings. Uh, at three watts, the coagulation necrosis was 2.5 millimeter. At four watts, the coagulation necrosis was four millimeter. At five watts, it was eight millimeter. Um, as we all expect, it's kind of there is a like trend uh, for increasing the power resulted in increase in the diameter. We were expecting that, but after increasing the power to 10, it was 6.3, and 15 watts resulted in 4.6, and 25 watts resulted in 4.5, uh, the largest diameter uh, of ablation. The winner of the uh, <coughs> setting was uh, 5 watts for we reached maximum ablation. Uh, histology was different in different power settings. 3, 4, and 5 watts resulted in heterogeneous necrosis and sometimes like patchy areas. I'm going to show the pictures. Uh, 10, 15, and 25 watts resulted in relatively homogeneous uh, coagulation necrosis. Here is 3 watts. Uh, this is very well, uh, here we can see the coagulation necrosis. And with 5 watts, which uh, the, our result is the best in terms of largest uh, cross-sectional diameter, but we can see it some areas is very well uh, coagulation necrosis and some areas spared. At 25 watts, here we can see very clear demarcation zone between uh, normal pancreatic tissue and then coagulation necrosis. In terms of other organs uh, for ablation, we ablated lymph nodes. Uh, they are a potential target for like uh, RF catheter. Lymph nodes, stomach, liver, and kidney for uh, 3, 4, 5, and 10 watts. We didn't apply 15 and 25. And histology was different. There was no coagulation necrosis in these organs. But uh, in terms of description of the uh, ablation, the, in the central probe insertion and immediate uh, cautery effects and around it degenerative cells and around degenerative cells congestion and the finally pycnotic cells and uh, normal transition to the normal cells. Uh, it's important to point out degenerative cells uh, can be indicative uh, of the coagulation necrosis. Uh, for spleen, there was no coagulation necrosis at all, and then it was entirely hemorrhagic, and the gallbladder, there were no changes. Uh, our study has also limitations, normal organs, and ablation was not guided by echoendoscope, see, because we wanted to see the no tissue response, and then we placed it manually, and it was non-survival study, we don't know the complications. Uh, in summary, there was well demarcated coagulation necrosis in pancreas and there was no linear uh, correlation between power and the largest uh, cross-sectional diameter of the coagulation necrosis. The maximum diameter of the ablation was seen at 5 watts and it was almost, uh, it was mean 8 millimeter and other organs showed some degenerative changes but not coagulation necrosis. As a conclusion, uh, ablation with Habib EUSRF catheter resulted in coagulation necrosis in pancreas, uh, but not in other solid organs. And I would like to thank you, Dr. Brugan, uh, Dr. Habib, for providing us the EUSRF catheters. Thank you for an excellent study.